Have you ever wanted to create a sticker effect for graphics that are in Canvas Elements tab? Let's learn 10 things that you need to know when using this effect. It's very simple to do, especially if you have Canva Pro. I'll share with you a tip at the end if you are using Canva for free. Like always, we're going to start off on Canva's home page. I'm choosing this YouTube thumbnail size, but you can do this technique with just about any of the sizes. The first thing that you need to know is that some of the graphics on the graphics tab will actually allow you to add the sticker effect easily and some will not. If you select a graphic and it has the edit image at the top with the color swatch tool, it likely will not allow you to easily add the sticker effect. However, if you select one of the elements and you can search for shadow in the effects, then you will be able to add the sticker effect easily. All you're going to need to do, tap glow, tap it twice, make your adjustments and apply. We'll get more into this in just a little bit. Tip number two is a time saving trick. Sometimes you just don't know which graphics you want for a design. If you add several elements to a page at one time, you can add the sticker effect to each one of them all at the same time. This is particularly useful if you have five graphics that you definitely want to use and you want to apply the exact sticker outline for all five graphics. Tip number three is to use Canva Pro. In order to add the sticker effect to most of these graphics, you're going to need to download them without a background. Click share, download, Make sure that you have transparent background clicked on. We only have one page here. Make sure it's a PNG and click download. I'm going to click it and bring it down. If for some reason yours doesn't pop up like this and you aren't able to do that, it's very simple. You just go to the left uploads tab, click upload file and you bring it in that way. We're going to take this image and I prefer to do it on a blank page just so that I can see what I'm working with. So left click, drag till it's purple, and then continue to left click and drag it up. It's time for the sticker effect with tip number four. We're going to click the image, go to edit image, we search for shadows, and now we're going to go to glow. Click it again to customize. I'm going to try size of 10. And then what you want to do for the sticker effect is take the transparency all the way to 100 and take the blur down to zero. And we're going to change the color. So I'm going to click that one and then click apply. I personally think that these sticker designs look best if you layer the original graphics on top of the ones with the outline. And if you're going to do that, the best practice is to make this whole image the same color because it's an easy trick. And let me show you what I mean. So we're going to click this. We're going to click edit image. And instead of shadow, you're going to search for duo tone and that's this you can click any one of these that you like and click it a second time we're going to change the highlights and shadows we're going to make it that same color that we did the outline on both of them and then click apply let me show you what it would look like with one of these on top so i'm going to take this one i'm just going to cut it out and then apply it here now you're going to notice that you may need to adjust the size. Like I need to adjust this one a little bit. I'm going to use the keys on my keyboard to make an adjustment that way. For these, this hello fall and even the friendship and maybe even this 
coffee mug. There's some holes here. And that is a very, very simple fix. We're going to take shapes. So you can do C on your keyboard for a shape. And then I'm going to take it and size it here. And then we're going to change the color of the shape to the same color as the outline and just adjust it. We're going to right click and send it backwards. And there might be a couple other spots. So what I'm going to do is click R. I'm going to click out so I can select and move it. And again, we'll change the color and send it backwards. And now we can just set this right on top and it looks amazing. Now that we have all these, what if you decide you want one of them to be a different color? We're going to show you how to do that too. We're going to select this layer and this layer is the one with all of the colors. And then I'm going to duplicate this one layer. And the first thing we're going to do is just get this mushroom shape. And I think I'm going to make it black. So select edit image. Duotone may still be up there. We're going to change it to black and then apply. I'm going to put it right on top and then right click, send it backwards. Now, what about this one? We're going to do the same thing. We're going to duplicate it. We'll bring this in and this down. And you're going to notice that there's a little sliver. Let's see if we can get rid of the sliver. We'll go back to Duotone. We'll change this one to black. We're going to wait for saving pause to finish. Right click, send it backwards. One thing that you could do if you wanted to is click share. You could download this just like you did before. Download image, bring it back up. And here it is. We've got all five. You could actually duplicate this five times if you want. And separate them like this. I was able to get everything I wanted. Let's see if I can get rid of this or nope. I need to do my little trick for friendship background remover. I need to get rid of this. We'll click done. This one didn't do well, but that's okay. Look, we got all of these done really well. We're at tip number eight. Add the sticker effect to templates to make them really stand out. So we've got these. And what if we took these? I'm going to select them. So shift. I've shifted these. And now I'm going to take these, copy them. I'm going to take them to the second page, paste them. I'm going to go ahead and make them larger. Share. Download. PNG. Transparent background, we'll go to that second page. Download. We're going to bring this to this page. Here we go. Shadow. We'll do a glow shadow. You could actually do any of these shadows that you want, but I don't know that I want the same color as the background, but I might. Let's try and see what that would do, because you never know. Okay, so we've got this. We're just going to slap these right here. I actually kind of like that. It gives it a unique look, like it helps them stand out a little bit. What if you don't have Canva Pro? The very best thing that you can do for yourself is to sign up for a free trial using a link in the description of this Canva tutorial. But I understand if finances are a struggle, you can download it with a full background, upload it into a software that does it for free, and then re-upload it into Canva. I have actually done that myself in the past. It's not always the best quality, and some items work better than others. It can be a time suck to try different things with those free programs and realize that it doesn't look that great. But let's move on to tip number 10. 
You might be wondering how else you can use this shadow glow effect. I love using it for thumbnail text. Check out this tutorial that's on your screen right now to learn more about that. If you like today's Canva tutorial and want to see more like it, make sure that you're subscribed, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Bye!